Hello everyone, welcome back to Malik Jawa 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. In this today's session, I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to deep dive into different scenarios of control file corruption or control file lost scenario, then how you can restore it and how you can recover those control files. If you can see here, I listed out like five to six scenarios. I'm going to demonstrate all these five to six scenarios uh, in detail. So this is going to be again one of the uh, continuation series of my uh, army and backup and restore scenarios where, uh, where in our previous uh, sessions we have seen couple of uh, recovery scenarios like you know all the data file lost, control file lost, how you can restore using auto backup and few blocks are corrupted, how you can restore and one data file lost, how you can restore it, all the data file lost, how you can restore via table space and SP file lost, how you can restore it and the control file corruption scenario so today we are in this particular uh, section we will uh, go in deep detail with the control file uh, corruption scenarios so before i get started the today's session so today technical live demonstration if you are new to my channel always go back to youtube and search for malik jyot and then please do subscribe if you like my videos please uh, share like and comment and if you missed out my previous session you can always uh, find it in my youtube channel okay let's get started with the today's uh, control file uh, restoration scenario uh, if you can see here, right, five scenarios, like out of that, first one is last only one control file. If you have a multiplex control file, like two or three multiplex control file, and among that, if you lost one control file, how you can restore it? That's the first case. And the second case is lost all the control file and using a flash recovery array fra if you are if you are enabled your flash recovery array fra how you can restore it not using a recovery catalog right using fra how you can restore your all the control file and i have two option here one is when you have enabled the auto backup auto backup of control file and the other scenario is when you have not enabled your auto backup of control file in those scenario how you can restore it i'll uh, explain all those scenarios in detail and the third case is all the control files are lost and how you can restore it using the recovery catalog instead of flash recovery array if you see this second case is using fra and third case is using recovery catalog and the fourth case is lost of a control file and not using either of recovery catalog or flashback recovery area uh, FRA. So if you are not using recovery catalog or FRA then how you can restore your control file and the fifth and final case is recreation of your control file for the database cloning purpose so this is not the uh, this is not the control file lost scenario but this, this sometimes we need a production control file to restore my uh, you know uh, the lower environment or the or the de dev or test or qa database restoration purpose so this i'm going to uh, demonstrate okay let's start with the case one uh, in the in the multiplex environment like if you're having a two or three control file and if you lose one of your control file how you can restore it so if you see here this particular scenario whatever i am doing it it applies when your database is open mode or when your database is in uh, uh, shutdown mode whatever the situation of your database whatever uh, demonstration i'm doing it that is applicable uh, the commands are same uh, commands are apply applicable to the both the scenarios when your database is open if you lose your control file or when your database is shut down if you lose your one control file like how you can restore it in my my database i have two control file like control 01 and control 02 one is in our data location and one is fra location i have my multiple control files and then i'm demo i'm simulating uh, uh, by removing one of the control file so i'll just log into my database and i'll show the control file so i have my dev database here dev database is up and running so if you run the show parameter control underscore file you can see one is control file 0 1 is on validate location and control file 0 2 is on fra location so what i'll do my database is up and running now so i will directly uh, remove this particular control file the control 0 1 rm ls hyphen ld see i don't have this particular control file so now i'll, I'll uh, connect back to database and i'll uh, you know uh, try to shut down uh, and then I will get an error message that I will not be able to open my control file. You can see right, control file 01 is unable to open because you know that control file we lost it. So uh, the only option is I need to shut down a bot. So I did a shutdown about then I will try to start up my database and you know again I will not be able to do it because you know control file 1 we lost it. 
the instance max it will go to the no mount mode instance will just start but it will not be able to mount it because you know it lost one control file so in that case i will do shut the bot i will uh, uh, shut down my i will shut about my instance and then uh, this particular lost scenario i have two method method one and method two so method one is you know you just copy your good control file that is the existing control file control file 0 2 you can copy it as a control file 0 1 and then you can start your instance so it will cleanly start your instance and it will create uh, you will be having your multiplex control file and the method two is and start your instance in no mount and you can set your control file to point to only one control file instead of two control file you can point it to only one control file which is existing one and then you can start your instance so that time also you can able to start it either of both the scenario will work it in in both the cases like when your database is in open or when your database is down in both the scenarios you can do it so i will go with the first option first i uh, what i'll do i will just uh, you know go to this particular location i'll copy my uh, control file control file 2 as a control file 1 you can see cp control file 2 and i'll copying it to the control file 1 location copy is done and then now i'll do uh, startup sql plus and i'll do startup and this time you know my database will be able to start cleanly you can see uh, the instance is started now and it is reading a control file yeah it read the control file and database is mounted and database is open if you go up when you try starting up here it says unable to identify the control file because control file one was you know we lost the control file one and then we just copied the good control file as a control file one and then we'll be able to start my my database so now what i'll do i will do shut about or set immediate don't use this about command because since this is my lab environment i'm doing it so set down about is a dangerous command okay now my database is down so then what i'll do i will remove this i'm um, again i'll uh, simulate the failure scenario i will remove control file one again and i will use this met second method to start my database so i'll do rm okay control file one got deleted ls and ltr right unable to access this particular file so now i'll try to start my database i know i will not be able to start my database start up you can see unable to identify the control file because we have just simulated the failure we have removed this control file manually so in that case what you can do the second method what it says start up no mount my database is already no mount now and show parameter control file i can do this show parameter control file show parameter control file you can see control file is pointing to two location multiplex control file control 01 control 02 two control file so if i have two control file what i'll do i will i lost one control file and then i have only control file two now so i'll do alter system set control files and i'll set it to only control file two and then i can i can shut down my instance and then i can restart my database using one control file you can see my ultra command is successful and then i'll do shutdown immediate and i'll do startup and this time you know you will be able to start your database since you know it is pointing to one control file location and that control file is healthy and it is available so shutdown done and i'll do just startup you can see instance started now it is reading the control file now yeah it read control file and database is mounted and database started and if i do uh, same show parameter control files it will be having only one control file now see it is having only con one control file that is control file 02 so this is the other method you can you can restore uh, you know your control file in case of multiplexed uh, you know control file scenarios so that is the one of the advantages having the multiplex control file in case of any one control file lost you know it is easy and you can easily recover your control file okay so uh, i'll start with the case 2 uh, when you lost all your control file and then how you can restore it using fra so this scenario i'll take it in my next session uh, thank you guys